Hello my little butterflies and today I'm going to be reviewing Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Crystal. So y'all finally I'm reviewing this book. Now I read this, I finished it at the beginning of the month. I'm pretty sure I started it in October and I finished it in November. I love this book. Like I gave it four stars. The hype is real. Believe the hype. It is a great book. Okay, I really enjoyed it. If you're okay with the formats, because the format is unique. It's told in different types of formats. Like, um, it'll be told through e a lot of emails. It's told through emails and voice recordings. I bet the audio book for this is really great. But I don't know how to email. I know the voice recording part will probably be really great. The emails and everything else is probably like, you know, your normal kind of audiobook but it's told through emails and voice recordings and um paperwork different paperwork that had to get filed throughout this whole mess oh god like i i really enjoyed it so if you don't mind the different formats oh and told through text messages too so if you're if not if you're not a fan of those different type of formats they might not be for you i know a lot of people that didn't like the book struggle with the format but if you're okay and open-minded with the format you're gonna love this book like it was really great now i've had this book on my shelf guys since it came out this was a pre-order that i had so what did it come out like a like two years ago it came out or something like that and it's been on my shelf since then and i never read it and i finally said killer we're going to read it now it's been on my tbr every october and i'm just reading it so um that goes to show you just how fast i read new releases even though i try my hardest to be like yeah i'm going to read this when it comes out so without me trying to sit here and really take a long time explaining this to you y'all guys can go read the synopsis of yourself but my in short synopsis is that this is like a futuristic war in space with a lot of artificial intelligence, a lot of artificial intelligence, like times, like your wildest dreams times a thousand. Like it's like more, it, it, it's just, it's so like this technology in this future is freaking ridiculous. So it, it's a lot of artificial intelligence, but then what threw me off that I didn't know was going to be here is like this outbreak that happens. It's like a zombie-like outbreak. Now, I'm not, not, not saying it's zombies, but that's the best way I could describe it. It's a zombie-like kind of disease that starts to break through everybody. So it's a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of heartbreak too. Like, oh God. And not even just, not saying a romantic heartbreak. Like, this heartbreak throughout the characters, y'all. Like, it's savage. Like, it's... A really good book okay to get my thoughts together it took me a while to get my thoughts together when I wrote the review because I was just like blown away at the end of the book I was like yeah I definitely gotta read the next book so plot wise though um even though it started off with action it started off in the heat of everything it still took me a while to get used to the format not a long time way before I even hit half the book it just took me a, a little while to get into the groove of things and once I got into the groove of it because at first I was a little bit iffy about how I was gonna like the book because I wasn't used to the format I was like I, I don't know if I'm feeling the different formats I was getting a little bit confused just a little bit but like the first couple of sections chapters I guess um but once I actually got used to it and got into the to, and got into the mix of everything, I was like, okay, I took off. I was like, all right, great. I'm used to it now. I feel comfortable. I feel confident in reading this. And I was great from then on. Like I was, I was into it. So even if it's something new to you, which a lot of books aren't like this, you'll get used to it pretty fast. Okay. So it's not like you have to wait majority of the book before you get used to it. But it changes up a lot. So it's uh, it's really unique. I loved all of the action in the book, having to see. The characters deal with more than one problem it wasn't just one problem they were trying to solve it was multiple issues and i really enjoyed it and it's not and it wasn't overwhelming it was done to where you don't get tired of them trying to solve this same little one problem it's a bunch of different things at play so you can understand why it'll take longer to solve one issue when this issue is popping up and that issue is popping up and it was just I loved it and it really felt like reading it like you were problem solving with the characters too it's like you was trying to put your input in and it really felt like you were solving the issue with all of them and I really really liked that that I felt kind of involved in the story character wise I was shocked by how emotionally involved I got with the characters because at first when it first started off I wasn't a big fan of Katie because I just felt like I didn't have that connection with her I just felt like she was like an empty character at first but as the book went on I started to get to know her more and I started to actually build a solid like foundation with her to where by the end of the book I was like really you know I was like really involved with her I was like she's a cool person I understand her now because at the beginning 
read of the book, I was just like, I don't know if I'm gonna like her because I just don't feel anything for her. But I like that I got the chance to build it up over time because I got to know more about her piece by piece. I got to, you know, feel bad and feel happy with her. You know, I, so I enjoy having to build a relationship and I just get it automatically. But Ezra, on the other hand, I he, he was like a first love at first sight character and not like relationship wise not like oh he's a, a book crush no not like that but friendship wise I, like you know sometimes when you just connect with people automatically it doesn't you don't take time and you just like I like you you know just automatically that's how I was with him he was just funny he always kept me laughing even at times where you probably shouldn't have been laughing but he still made me laugh so I loved his dialogue I loved him automatically like I just loved him everything about him I was just like I like this character he's gonna be my favorite out the book and he was on top I love him he could be my best friend all the time like come on let's go I just he just brings the life to the party I love the relationship between the main characters I like getting to watch their relationship grow and then kind of settle their differences and put their differences aside to help each other and to realize what was more important and to solve their issues instead of just being on that same page because when the book starts off, and I think it's just in the synopsis that, well, they have just broken up the same day when everything starts to go down over a misunderstanding, over miscommunication. So getting to watch them put it, to, put their difference to the side and actually solve their problem like adults was great. And I mean, like, it's it's not like watching their growth just as characters through a book, but as people. Like, you get to see them as, like, real people. Because if more people would actually sit down and discuss their differences the way they did, even though it wasn't all at one time, it was realistic. Because when you break up with somebody, you're not wanting to talk to them that same day. It might take some time. But just the fact that they actually took the time and didn't just throw it away, you know, just like that, I loved that growth. You can see them grow up and not still stay like children you can actually see them grow up so i enjoyed that and the one thing that ezra and katie's characters have in common that i love so much is their sarcasm i loved watching them be sarcastic with each other it seemed like everything no matter who they was talking to at some point that it is the sarcasm that really lightened the mood it really took a heavy and like sad situation and kind of made it a little bit a, a little bit less serious so it less heavy and lightened the mood a, a lot with their sarcasm and it wasn't overly sarcastic to where everything came out that mouth was sarcastic it was almost just like you're being sarcastic and you're not knowing but it's part of your personality so you can't help it so I really enjoyed how the characters were done I liked how she kind of developed them and had them grow and they didn't stay the same way so all together I really love the book but not loved the book like there's a difference like I could say like I love this book but not loved it like Red Queen I'm like I loved it like capital letters this book I just loved it like you know lowercase letters more than like but love okay if that makes sense like you know there's a difference between love and love like I will gush over Red Queen like, like this, this book is gush worthy but not like I am over Red Queen Red Queen has my heart but this book you know it was it was good you know, I really, I loved it, but not loved it. There's a difference. Like, I can't explain it, but there's a difference in the feelings towards each one. And I also liked how it ended. Like, it really made me like Katie more, how the book ended, because it really showed her attitude, and it really showed all the spunk that she has with her. So I loved how it ended, because it really, 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 really showed her attitude. And I feel like I can match with her with her attitude. and showed that she's not going to lay down and take nothing. So I loved how it ended. Um, I'm really excited to read the second book. I hate that it took me so long to read this, but I'm kind of glad that it took me so long to read this. I think if I would have read it right then and there, um, I would have got caught up in the hype. Like, the hype probably would have made me not like it as much, but because I waited so long, maybe that helped. You, you, you haven't get that feeling like when you read a book when it first comes out with everybody else. You have higher expectations for it, and like you will criticize every little detail versus you waiting a while, and then you read it after the hype has died down about it, and then it's like... Okay, I really liked it. I enjoy this book. So, I'm glad I waited because I think that did my review justice. So, if you haven't read Illuminate yet and you're a late bloomer like me, you guys should definitely pick it up. It, it's a great book. It's a beautiful book to have on your shelf, but you don't have to buy it. It's a really, really great book. You can get it on Koopa. Okay. Not, I'm not, they're not sponsoring this video. They don't pay me. I'm not a rep for them. It would be nice though, as much as I mention them. But you can get it from Hoopla. You can get it from the library. You can get it from... Um, one drive, overdrive, I think it is. You can get it from a lot of different um, free book apps, kind of thing. You can get it on your Kindle too. I think it's like 
every now and then it'll go on sale for the Kindle books. It'll be like $2.99 or something like that on the Kindle. So definitely read it if you haven't picked it up. It's really great. If you're if you're okay with all the different formats, it'll you'll be fine. But if you're not a person that really likes all the different formats like that, it might not be the best book for you. It might be better for you to have it in audio book versus you reading it with the different different formats. So that way you don't have to worry about switching between formats and you still can follow the story. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching this review. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.